From Pasco County tonight, a 20-year-old man charged with sexual battery of two middle-aged school girls faced a judge. The parents of one of the alleged victims are speaking with Aid on Your Side because they fear Brandon Williams befriended and took advantage of other young girls. Justin Shecker is live at the courthouse in Newport Ritchie. Justin? Hey, Josh and Stacy, good afternoon to you both. Yeah, the father told me he felt helpless when he learned about what deputies said Brandon Williams did to his daughter. Now, the allegations in the sheriff's office arrest report are very disturbing, and deputies say there could be more than the two child victims who've already come forward. Our lives have been turned upside down. I mean, I, we had to do a lot of things to change for our daughter's safety. Aid on your side is not identifying the parents of the 13 year old girl that 20 year old Brandon Williams is accused of sexually battering. He would pick her up from the school and you know go they would go do whatever and then bring her home at the normal time the bus should be dropping her off. Williams bonded out of jail following his January 14th arrest. They need to keep him locked up. That's where he belongs. The parents were in a Pasco County courtroom Thursday morning as Williams appeared in handcuffs before a judge for a pretrial conference. My understanding is he's been charged with an additional four charges. On Wednesday, deputies announced they arrested Williams again, this time for lewd and lascivious sexual battery of a 12-year-old girl. There are definitely more victims. Janine Stokes says she quit her job as the Hudson Academy cheerleading coach because she believes the middle school didn't do enough to alert parents. Brandon came in under the ruse of being uh, one of the girl's brothers. Um, he came to all the games. He hung out with the kids. A Pasco school spokesperson says after learning of William's first arrest, they worked with the sheriff's office to have him trespass from school property in February. Deputies say they want other potential victims to come forward. So is the 13 year old girl's family. Check your daughter's phones. Don't be afraid to come forth. Um, they may not like it, but it, it's we have to stand together as a community and protect them. And prosecutors say they plan to officially file those new charges against Williams by next week. Right now he's being held in the county jail on a combined $80,000 bond. Live in Pasco County, I'm Justin Shecker, 8 on your side.